Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here in a Fig Jam to show you how to use buttons to help students navigate your Fig Jams. Now remember, Fig Jams are an infinite canvas, and so it can be a little challenging to navigate students exactly where you want them to go or for them to go where you want them to go. Well, watch this. So let's say I open this as a student and I am in group five. If I click this, look at that. I am now in group five. And if I just scroll down here, I can go back to the home button. Let's say I've done my group five thing and oh, everyone go one group over, right? So that's a really nice thing. Now, how did I do that to have buttons that you can navigate in Fig Jam? Let me show you. So we go here to the plus and let's go to widgets and then just search for button. And you can see I already have it right here. So let me click on button. And I'm going to make the text large, but you see you have different size of text. I'm going to make the color, we'll make it this blue, and then you can configure it using this. And so here I'm going to type group nine. And then I'll just scroll down to where I want group this group nine button to go. Click here. And then it says to selection. Click on that. That's great. We'll show that in a second, but I also want one of these home buttons as well. So we'll do another button. So we'll go here. We'll go to a button here. Now, by the way, you can always right click, copy, paste them. Now let's configure this button. So we'll click on the right above it. We'll go here. We'll make it uh, large. We'll go to open settings. We'll type a label. I'll actually use my emoji and use the house. So then I'll just scroll back up. And I will click the selection to selection. Great. And so that'll work. And my group nine button, by the way, here I'll just use the grid lines to line that up. Goes right here down to group nine. And then my home button, I'll just move back here and that will work as well. How about that? Now, when you share this with students, students will, if you just click this share button and you copy the link, they're going to see it really zoomed out, even more zoomed out. Like they'll see almost all of these things on the same screen like that. We don't want that. We want them to be right at home base when we share it with them. We'll check this out. As long as you set it to anyone with the link can edit or view, you click on the section with home base, you right click, and we're going to click copy link to section. And then let me show you what my student sees. My student over here, we will share that link with students and watch what they see. And look at that. That is what you want your students to see. And then they would navigate to their proper group. Pretty cool stuff, right? Before I go, let me go back down to group nine. I want to thank Miggy from Figma. There he is. Miggy, I'll drop his Twitter in the description below. He's the one who shared this tip with me. Uh, these buttons here in widgets, such a cool tool to help your students navigate their Fig Jams. If you have any questions about this, comment below or tweet me at Tommy Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.